Hello, I'm Brad Eli. Today's Tuesday, August 8, 2023. Here are your latest Church Milton headlines. Ohioans are voting today on a proposal that could play a major factor in the state's future abortion laws. The special election centers on issue one, which would require 60% of the vote to pass proposed changes to the state's constitution, rather than the current requirement of 50%. The vote could affect Ohio's November election, which features a proposed amendment to enshrine abortion rights into the state constitution. A recent photo that surfaced on social media shows Jill Biden posing with men dressed as women. The image of Biden with five drag queens was posted by Welcome to Manny's, a San Francisco event space that describes itself as, quote, unapologetically queer and unapologetically political. The Bidens have a track record of pushing the LGBT agenda, as in 2022, for example, when Joe Biden invited drag queen activist Marty Cummings to the White House for the signing of the so-called Respect for Marriage Act. A recent Porsche ad celebrating the company's Porsche 911 apparently erased a statue of Jesus in the background. A man on social media noted the missing image saying, hey Porsche, why did you erase the statue of Jesus Christ from your video filmed in Lisbon? The removed statue is that of Christ the King which overlooks the Tagus River dividing the Portuguese cities of Almada and Lisbon. Catholic men around the world continue to honor the Blessed Mother and pray her rosary in public squares on the first Saturday of the month. Australia's city of Adelaide witnessed its first Catholic men's rosary rally with many fathers bringing their sons. Likewise, in Northern Ireland, men once again prayed the rosary on their knees in the streets of Ballycastle with higher turnout than previous rallies. And in Poland, men prayed the rosary and sang songs for Our Lady all across the country, including outside St. Mary's Church in Krakow. A 16-year-old girl who was visually impaired is now claiming she was cured during the World Youth Day Mass at Fatima. She said she was cured after receiving Holy Communion, telling a radio station, When I opened my eyes, I could see perfectly. I saw the altar, the tabernacle, and my girlfriends. The teenage girl was praying a novena to Our Lady of the Snows, whose feast day is celebrated on August 5th, the same day she recovered her sight. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your Church Melbourne headlines. Please watch the Vortex today where Michael talks about being a loyal son of the church. God bless you.